Hello and welcome to Space Time with Robert. I'm Robert and we're back again tonight. And I've got some stars here. You can see four little stars in the center. That's the trapezi trapezium cluster. It's at the heart of the Orion Nebula. I can kind of actually make out some of the nebula just around it. It's going to be this faint little glow around the stars. And I am against the race of time here. We got frost setting in on the on the telescope but yeah you can kind of see a little wispy cloud just going around those four stars there that is an actual nebula and um yeah i'll have to try and see if i can brighten it up at all nope hello from russia we're trying to look at the orion nebula right now through a 10 inch telescope and all we can really see is the uh, stars that are at the center. And in a second here, I'm going to jump over to the moon. But I just wanted to give this a good try. Let's see, where's the Pleiades? Oh, the Pleiades is out. We can go have a look at that too. Cool though. There it is. There's our first dedicated attempt at looking at a nebula through an iPhone. Very faint little fuzzy cloud like little gray area around those stars that's awesome let's go check out the Pleiades so we're gonna look at a stellar cluster let's see if I can get it we're going up going up and okay here are some of the Pleiades the Subaru stars no um i am currently at work i'm just taking another break but yeah these are really pretty stars i love these stars these are um less than 100 million years old so they were formed during the crustaceous period so when crustaceous dinosaurs dinosaurs were walking around they they might not have seen these stars in the sky. And then later on, dinosaurs after them would have seen these stars. If dinosaurs were astronomers, you know. Hey, thank you. That's really pretty though, right? All right, I've only got a few more minutes left, so I'm gonna jump over to the moon and I'll show you what that looks like tonight. Thanks for uh, checking out this star cluster with me. Let's hop on over to the moon. Well, she's bright. So we're really zoomed out, as you can tell. There we go, that's a little bit better. Wow, look at those craters. See, so yeah, I'm not using my uh, typical filter that I have on here to dim the, the brightness, so we just gotta go with with the, uh, the whole organic experience here by just pointing at something dark. Or, sorry, pointing at something bright. That's what I meant to say. Whoa, check out that crater right there to the left. Damn, there's a lot of detail on the surface there. That's so cool. Ooh, check out Tycho Crater going on up here. Nice and bright. So look at that crater right up there to the, to the upper left. That thing, wow, observers. Look at it. you can see the white rays shooting off left and right. That's so cool. I love that crater. Another crater that I really like is this one over here. I think it's called uh, Plato Crater. That dark one to the upper right. Love that thing.
And then, yeah, this little area down here is looking real nice tonight. If I could get it darker. That's so cool. I totally forgot to save my last live stream. Whoops. It happens. I'd show you Mars, but um, it's really foggy out here right now, and my mirror is getting a little icy. I have excuses here. Let me just show you Mars real quick, and, and you can see what it looks like for yourself. Over here, we've got Mars. It's so cool. I could just like push this thing around and aim it. That's how we're aiming the telescope. This is just yogurt and eggs. That's what's powered on. Whoa, check that out. There's Mars. Notice how orange it is. Those four points that are coming off of it, that's because of the type of telescope we're using. We're using a Newtonian telescope. It's an Aperture AD10. So it's 10 inches in aperture. And Aperture is the manufacturer. That's pretty cool though, huh? Well, hey, we just lost focus. There we go. Yeah, I was trying to zoom in on it closer to get some details, but I couldn't even see it with the eyepiece, let alone the iPhone. All right, and that's it. That's all I got to show you. I got to get back to work and wrap things up. Thank you so much for joining in. Hope you stay safe. Enjoy that clear sky out there. Love you all. Bye. Bye.